Hey guys, so today I decided to do a little um, what's in my travel makeup bag tutorial because not tutorial, what am I saying? Um, makeup bag video because I just got back from my trip up north um, for Memorial Day weekend and I had off from so school, I figured I would so. just show you guys what I took up north with me and um, I also have a little bag of brushes so I took all my makeup in this um, little blue Sonia Kashuk bag from Target. I got this a while ago, probably a few years ago, but um, I used to keep like old makeup in it that I didn't really use, but I got rid of that stuff and so now I have this bag to use and it's kind of the perfect size um, besides for my brushes because they're longer, so I just took my brushes in this little free people bag that they give you when you buy an accessory. So, um, I'll tell you about my brushes first, and then we'll get into the actual makeup bag. So, I brought, I think, about five or six brushes, um, all from different brands. Let's see. Actually, seven, but um, a few of them are smaller. So, um, I brought kind of just essential brushes that I thought I would use. Um, like, this first brush I bought was from Ulta. Um, it's one of the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman brushes, and it's the stippling brush, and it looks like this, and it's um, just a pretty plain stippling brush, but I like the length of it, and it works really well with my foundation when I apply it from my hand. And then to apply my face powder, I brought the Sigma Makeup Large Powder F20 brush, which looks like this, and I like how it's kind of flat, um, and just really um, dense for a pretty dense for a powder brush so I like that and then to apply bronzer I brought my MAC 138 brush which is a um, tapered blending brush which like looks like that and I like um, how it applies bronzer right into the um, below the apples of my cheeks for blush I brought the MAC 109 brush which I think is pretty common it's just a round top blush brush and um, this one's pretty dense for a blush brush, but it's not too big, so I like how it doesn't overflow your cheek with um, blush, rather just complements the bronzer you already put on. And then for highlight, I brought just the simple 188 um, by MAC, and it's just a plain um, highlight brush, I guess, whatever you say. And then I only brought two eyeshadow brushes. Um, I brought the MAC to well it's the number wore off but I think it's the 238 if I'm not I'm not positive but I think it's the 238 and it's just the flat um, white eyeshadow brush for to apply in on the um, eyelid of your eye and then to blend I brought the Sigma blending e25 brush which I really like this one because it's fluffy but it's not too big that it overflows um, your crease with color. So those were the seven brushes I brought and um, now into the makeup. The first thing I brought for eyeshadow was just my MAC palette because I thought you know um, I had room for it and I figured it just has pretty much all I use besides a few Chanel well one Chanel um, eyeshadow I'll show you a little bit later but this was pretty much all I need for eyeshadow so um, this is my MAC palette I brought and I might do a video on this later, so if you want to see it, comment uh, to or like this video to see um, all my eyeshadows that I have in this palette. But I pretty much used all that glitters and woodwinked and mulch and brulee a lot, so that was my MAC palette. And then um, as for my face products that I have here on top, I brought, um, let's see, I think I brought like two blushes and just a few other face products and then I brought my beauty blender with me um, I've, that wasn't really with my brushes but I use this also to like finish my foundation I use my stippling brush to apply it um, all over my face and just put it kind of in dots and then I use my beauty blender to blend it out so then going on to the face products the first thing I brought was my MAC Select Sheer Press Powder in NC30 which I feel like is a pretty common color I feel like a lot of people use that color um, it looks like this. It's just a pressed powder um, that goes really well over my foundation. So I brought that. And then as for my bronzer, I brought the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. 
Is that what it's called? Yeah, chocolate celery bronzer in the original one, not the new milk chocolate one. It smells like chocolate. It smells so good. Um, it looks like this, and the mirror is actually... Look how perfect that mirror is. It's so cute. And there's my camera. And then um, I love the smell of this, and it's just a plain um, matte bronzer, and I think it works really well compared to my... Um, MAC bronzer which I have which is like shimmery and I don't like the finish of that as much. So I brought that and then I brought my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle which is also a really common product um, but I love it so much and it's just the perfect complement highlight color for any skin tone. Um, and then as for blush I brought my Bare Minerals Aphrodisiac Ready Blush um, which I hauled in a recent Ulta haul um, that I did get that brush out of there um it looks like this it's just a pretty kind of coral color coral pinky color that will look really good for summertime love that and then the other blush i brought was this chanel blush in number 65 s pigley or something i cannot say it but um it's also a pretty coral color but i think this is more neutral um and it's a shimmer where the other one was kind of a shimmer, but this is more of a shimmer. And it's coming up darker on camera, but it looks like that, and it's so pretty, just for summertime. And um, I like the coral blushes for summertime, because I feel like they're more natural, especially if you're going to be like out on the lake like me, or even at the beach. They're just kind of more natural, and they won't have such a dramatic effect if they wear off. Um, another face product I bought was my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which is SPF 20. And I'm in the color Nude. Looks like this. And um, it's just a really light foundation, which because I don't wear um, heavy like liquid foundation every day, especially since I go to an all-girls school. So um, I do not need to wear makeup, that much makeup to school because it's not necessary. Um, but I love this, and it's perfect for the summer too because you don't want a heavy, cakey foundation for the summer. Um, the next thing I brought was my Yves Saint Laurent Touchy Claw um, Radiant Touch. Okay, I heard this is not a concealer, but um, I used it as a concealer anyway. And I'm in the color number two because I'm so pale. But um, it has this little brush, and I love it. It's just really brightening for um, under eye circles. Even though I'm obviously not that old, I still get um, a little bit of discoloration under my eyes when I wake up. So I like to use this. And then, um, let's see, what else did I bring? Okay, well, this is pretty common also, but this is my, um, my baby lips in pep, it's like a, the peppermint, uh, blue-green packaging, and I love how this tastes on your lips. It's just so, um, so pepperminty, obviously, and it just feels so great on your lips. Um, as for other eye products... I brought my um, favorite, 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 favorite eyeliner ever, um, and it's this Roll Up, um, just plain black eyeliner from Revlon, Color Stay, and um, let's see, it's just the color black, um, but it's just so great for your waterline under your eyes, and it's pretty opaque, um, but I don't know, I just think it doesn't come off, at least on me. And just gives a really precise line. I don't use this for um, on the top. I only use liquid eyeliner on top because I have really, really tiny eyes. And if I find, if I use like a pencil or um, this like formula, it just makes my whole eyes look black because my eyelids are so small. So I just use this for under my eyes. And then for um, liquid liners, I brought my L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black. Linear Intense Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner in Carbon Black, um, which I know Al Fowler used a lot. Um, there's some other people on YouTube that use it a lot, but I love it. It's just a pretty, well, if I can get it open. It's actually not that small of a brush, but um, I feel like it gives a really straight line. And it's right there. And um, see, it's just really straight and easy for me to work with. Especially since um, I have really small eyes, so it gets right near my um, eyelashes on top. And then I also brought this backup um, liquid eyeliner by Urban Decay in Perversion. And I like this one too. Um, it's just like an even more, I feel like it's even more liquidy and runny than um, the Carbon Black. But um, it's this one. 
one under it. And I, th I think it's a little thicker and blacker, but um, the brush is more loose, so it's harder to work with, where this is a felt tip, so it's more defined and the brush doesn't go all over the place. But I like that one too. And, um, okay, so for mascara, I brought Benefit They're Real, which I just brought this little travel size that I got at Ulta. Um, I think I hauled it in my last Ulta haul, along with the Bare Minerals blush. But um, I just love this mascara. It's been amazing on my eyelashes, at least, and I feel like it really makes your eyelashes pop. Um, I have one more blush in here. This was Benefit's Coralista. I, I don't know where I got this little travel size, but maybe in a My Glam bag. I do subscribe to My Glam. Um, but this is just a, such a pretty, again, it's kind of a coral color, but it's more pinkish, I feel, and um, a little bit of shimmer. I didn't use this that much on my trip, but I don't know. I like it, and I brought it with me, so. Uh, the Chanel Island, the... What am I saying? I'm going too fast. The Chanel um, liquid kind of eyeshadow. It's not liquid eyeshadow. It's kind of like a paint pot. But um, it's number 82 in Emmerville, which is this beautiful champagne-y color, which I like to use golds and champagnes on my eyelids because I have brown eyes. Um, didn't use that much, this that much, but I love it, and I'm going to try using it more. Um, I just never get around to it, so... And then um, all I have left are lip products. So these lip products I bought, brought, there's five of them. Um, three lip glosses and two lipsticks. But I didn't use all of them. So the first thing I brought was for, um, I don't know, just for like a fun lip, I guess. Didn't really use this that much, but this was Max Nicki Minaj Viva Glam Nicki lipstick. And it's just a neon, neon pink. And, um... It's, I can't even describe how pink it is, but let's see. I feel like it's like Flamingo um, by, from the Irish AFL collection, if you know what that looks like. It's similar, but it, I feel like it's even more neon in the um, packaging that it is when it comes out. So I like that in general, but didn't use it that much. Um, as for the other lipstick I bought, it's the Revlon Color Burst Lip Butter in Strawberry Shortcake, which is number 80. And this is really pretty subtle pick pink color. Um, I'll swatch this next to it, but it's more, um, it's a little more tame and liquidy. Um, it looks almost as bright, but it's a little lighter and a little more neutral um, than the Viva Nikki, but I like it and it's really moisturizing. And then for the lip glosses I brought, I brought Max Morning Glory Luster Glass in like the little mini one. And um, looks like this. It's just a pretty um, natural pink, and it looks good over, um, the lip butter I just showed you. It's pretty sheer. It's over, well, I can't look on camera, but, um, that's what it looks like. And it's a really pretty, it almost has a little purple glow to it. And then, um, this I brought unintentionally. I found it in my bag, but I actually love this lip gloss. It's the Estee Lauder lip gloss in Praline, number 325. And it's a really pretty corally shade, um, almost like the blushes I showed you. But it has, ooh, it smells good, but um, it has a red brush. I don't know why. But um, it's a really pretty color. It's very corally. Let's see. I don't know what got in there, but it has an orange brush. And it smells really good, but um, it has more brown undertones to it. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. And it's a little mini one. And then my one of my favorite lip glosses ever. Um, I got this given to me at a birthday party. It's the Model Co. It's one of the lip lights in Summer Nectar. And it, these have these little mirrors on them. And when you um, open them, they have a little light as well. So you can apply them in the dark, I guess. But this color, Summer Nectar, is just most gorgeous bronze color and it's almost blends in with my skin tone but it's a little sheer um it has shimmer in it it's down here and sorry the lighting isn't that great but i don't know it just looks really natural on so those are the products i brought with me on my trip and i hope you guys like this video if you did subscribe um since i'm a new beauty vlogger so Subscribe and like and comment on my videos. Tell me what I should change. And I hope to talk to you guys later. Bye.